I need to update you guys about what we did off stream yesterday. If I do play at night really late, I usually am hanging out with the guild because all of like my people from my crew are just not on. So I'm in Polito and someone mentions something behind the church, guy behind the church, something. They're like, oh yeah, new thing. And like offhand. And I was like, what? So when I break off from them, I go behind the church in Polito and find an NPC. And he says stuff to me. And it sounds like he was saying to me more than what someone else said he said. So I was like, this might be because I did like Maze Bank or something. Like I was trying to think like, what have I done that other people haven't? And I know with people in the guilds and a lot of the people in Polito, they have not done Maze Bank. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's, maybe it's related to this. So yesterday there's clips, you can watch people's VODs, but me or, you know, my character Gigi, Lang, Yuno and Marty got in a car and we spent hours yesterday just <laughs> while they were streaming, just rolling around and looking for clues and, and exploring and trying our best to like figure stuff out, make sense of it. It was so cooked. I kind of wish I was streaming, but it was one of the funniest days. I just love rolling around with them. Uh, like whenever there's heist progression stuff, I, we get we get so like insane. It was so funny. I want to show you the vibes of yesterday. <laughs> You'll Wait see. Wait a minute. What if you fish up the cardboard? <laughs> so right away we're cooked. Okay. We we were talking about cardboard. We were trying to find cardboard. And <laughs> he's like, what if we fish up the cardboard? Because <laughs> we're trying to figure out what the fuck to do. This is this is my favorite thing oh, from yesterday. Doesn't... Look at this. Look at this psycho. <laughs> Guys, there's the fire right here. Oh. Now, I just want you to know, in my view, I could see the fire on him. I did not see that the whole building was on fire. Like, my, my POV, there was not as much fire in this place as there were for him. So me standing there was because that was on fire, but not this. But then from his POV, everything's on fire. Uh, oh. I love oh Marty's my God. POV after this. GG! Yeah, what the? see, like, that didn't, that oh, was on fire dead. for me, so I just ran L through it. Lang's dead. Lang's Look at dead. this. Hey, I'm good, player. Oh. oh! Hey, I'm Marty, good, it's over. player! It's over for me, Marty! I'm trapped! Ah! What? <laughs> Him say, I'm good, player! <laughs> just... Guys, I don't think the fire's gonna go out. The fire's supposed to dissipate, and this shit just and never back. did. And then, and then Opal, Opal found us, so the, the sheriff's oh, office came by. Here. Actually, I hey, sent the here? local 911 call because attacked. the spot where I passed out was I within was reach of that lady. It was so funny. We were, we, we all got cremated. We got stuck in a burning building and then Opal arrives and she sees me on the stairs. She's like, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my. She's trying to pull me out of the fire and I'm like, I'm dying. <laughs> This is how cooked we were fucking just going around and like trying to figure out. So so the guy in Polito gave us this clue that turned out to be totally irrelevant to what we were looking for. But he said something about Maizono, the character from Danganronpa, the, the pop idol one, if you've played it. He like mentions her and he's like, give me cardboard. I need to make a project. Maizono's always asking for some. So we were like, who is she? <laughs> we were going around and we were like pressing people. I'd be asking like where she was. We found what this the, guy. The fuck up here, There's sir? a guy here. Dumpster diving? I didn't... Mm. It was just some random guy that we rolled up on. Where's the nearest we live here, brother. We live here, brother. Respectfully, I don't think you live here because you got a fancy ass car. It's kind of beat up, though, but still. He had an yeah, attitude, really? oh, so it was over. Like, this is a fancy car, really? <laughs> hands oh, up, man. Hands no, up. Dude. Why, dude? <laughs> you know what the gun is never not up, funny. Don't <laughs> fucking move, man. Tell us where my Zono is. Guys, tell, <laughs> whoa, whoa, Marty, you're actually robbing him? Marty, run. That was a joke. That was a joke, man. That was a joke. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I I, was just going to prank. Thank you about the cardboard. Where's my zone away, motherfucker? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Shoot his man. ass, you know. Shoot him the leg. You know? What? Don't, don't, no, no. Don't, 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 shoot his ass. I don't think he knows. I don't, don't think he knows. Is my zono a guy? Girl? Who is? Is it's, it's a girl with 33 centimeter chest? <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn right. That's right. Is that? Oh, okay. Oh shit. I don't um, know, but I kind of want to find. Oh her. my god. I was crying. Uh, I don't know what that. She's not for you. She's not oh, for well, you. great to meet is you. It, it um, actually said 33 inches. She had a 33 inch bust measurement, not 33 centimeter chest. But he kept saying it. I was crying. Here's, here's a french fry for the trouble. Marty didn't actually rob the guy, by the way. He, like, did the rob animation, but he didn't take anything. Uh, oh, I did. We might have. We might have. We might no. What the? <laughs> 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 Lang just runs him over and keeps going. Oh my god. You know, did pull a gun. I was just <laughs> pranking him. Spoke. I was just pranking him. And then this is the art asylum. This is the place that we were Wait, going. there's people in the back. Look, look. Oh, this this was so funny. Marty's reaction after this thing <laughs> had me pissing myself. Wait, Marty, you got an extendo? Because I saw him roll hey, through the those? wall. Jesus Christ, you actually shot. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Marty, what are you doing? Marty, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm so sorry, my my friend thought you were someone else. It was a huge misunderstanding. Oh, misfire, misfire. Uh, like, damn, that was crazy. My fault. 
<laughs> that right there. Marty just goes, ah, bro, that was crazy. My fault. Uh, that Don't was crazy. It. My fault. My fault. My fault. Don't tweak. Don't tweak. Don't tweak. It's a drug, brother. It's a drug. <laughs> I love that we can always, we can always just be like, sorry, he's tweaking. He's tweaking. Hold on. We're going to, here, I'm going to go and see if I can find a clip of him fighting the furry. It's got to be in his, like, recent clips. I was on the phone with Marty after that, so we broke apart. We left Marty there while the rest of us went up to Polito and grid searched the whole area. We were certain that, uh, based on what that plaque said, that we had to wait for them to take the statue, like an NPC, to take the statue out of there and deliver it to Polito, because the plaque said that it occasionally gets sent up there to get polished and, like, touched up and then back down. So we were like, oh my god, we're gonna leave Marty here to watch the place, and then we're gonna go to Polito. So I stayed on the phone with him, and he started tweaking. I was listening to him for, like, an hour. Fucking, yeah, yeah, fully schizophrenic. Completely. And he was like, there's a furry! And then, like, he, the cops rolled up on him, and he's like, I'm just hearing his side verbally. I don't know what's going on. But he was talking about that he was he, he was fighting a furry, and, and then, like, he was like, help me, help me! Like, to the cops. <laughs> I was crying. I couldn't tell what the fuck was happening. Oh, my God. Wait, let me find, like, top clips from 24 hours. I hear him. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! Apparently, apparently that thing was following oh. him. Oh god. Yeah, it was one of the deaths. Come back so here, kept... you stupid wench! <laughs> they just on the phone with me the whole time. <laughs> Y'all ain't see him run out. Y'all ain't see him run out. He just tased no. me, bro. It was so good the way he just comes out from like the side. Oh, you. <laughs> this costume is really good. Let's see. Yeah, confirmed. Can't read it. Uh... Fight me, bitch! Fight me, bitch! No, no, no. <laughs> come here, come here. No, 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 no! Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. <laughs> Let me show you something, dumb fuck. Let me show you something. Is that area? But those are tiny. No, no, no. I said combat. I said combat. I said combat. You little pussy bitch. <laughs> yeah, I can't even. I can't even imagine. And I was just, I was just hearing Marty say all of this on the phone. Every... Uh. <laughs> it was one of the devs that like spawned in as this character and was like fighting him, just messing with him, and he kept like appearing in front of Marty, but then going invisible when the cops would come around. So that way, like, like they'd be, <laughs> they would be like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> it's so funny. This is, we're fine. Moments before disaster. You won't do jack shit, bitch. Oh, blow that bitch up! Level. I dare you to blow that bitch up right there. Light that motherfucker on fire! I swear to God, you won't. We know this is it. This is this is during the furry arc. Hey, hey, I'm not getting in that car. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, we're fine in here. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It ain't gonna do shit. It ain't gonna do shit. Ain't gonna do shit. Ain't gonna do. There we go. Drive, brother. Drive. Drive before he fucking kills you. We straight. We I don't know where to go. I don't know. I'm actually Call back up, brother. The dev just like like destroyed their car. Oh my god. This was. It was. It was just so funny yesterday. Like the whole day. Peppo the furry. Okay. Thank God. Thank God. Wait. No. Don't leave me. The furry's here! Uh, the furry! Uh. <laughs> so you actually got to see it? Oh my god. I'm gonna show when, when Omi and I found stuff yesterday. Because after all of this, the furry thing, right? We were so cooked and, and everyone's like, alright, we're done for now. I go play with my cats, whatever. I hop back on later. Because I was like, I think there's still something there. And I knew that Omi was gonna be, like, staying on for a while. So I was driving around a shit ton. And then, uh, I, you guys see me do it on stream all the time. I tend to charge my electric vehicle in this one spot in Rockford Hills. This one charger. So I charge there. I go southbound, turn right. The corner right after that charger. And I look to the left. And I see something move. And I'm like... Have I ever driven down here? So I drive down that little alleyway. It's the one behind the jewelry store. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, we should have checked like the little jewelry store in Rockford and like things like that. I was like, yeah, we should check anything. We checked the pawn shop. You know, this makes sense. I don't know. Thinking that there's absolutely nothing. But I go and I drive down the little um, alleyway and there's an NPC there that we had never found. And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. So I find the, the NPC that we were missing. I talk to the guy and I don't progress in the conversations with him. I just call Marty because <laughs> I was like, oh my God, everyone else isn't around. And I felt so bad because I love finding things like this with everyone, <laughs> but I found it separately. I was like, oh, so I actually thought potentially of like not telling anyone, but knowing that that Omi was still streaming, I was like, okay, I just wanted to be live on someone's POV. If, if no one was live, I was going to find it and then not talk to the P NPC any further and you know. But he was live, so here it is. I call him. I found someone. Who? Where? <laughs> New guy. Uh, what's your name? One, two, five, three. So Omi was still just searching. If you look at him, he was just exploring. I was like doing the same thing. Come here. He looks like so, Jesus. So that's the spot. What does he want? He's an art collector. No way. Yeah, NPC, it says art collector in the little like job or rep No way. 
I don't know if I should hit this. Dude, that's fucking crazy. He's for what we're the about charger to do. that I always charge my car at. Um, so he drives. He goes over to the spots. It's it's just near the spot that I always use in Rockford to charge my car. So here's him driving up to it. So the chargers are like up this. Uh, I almost feel like road. If we do this, like people are gonna be so. And sad. then you could just <laughs> see it here going past. It. So like when I was driving past, I could see the dude's arm. He's like right there. Well, if it is nothing, then you know what right I'm there. saying. I don't think it's nothing. And then what this says, his name is Jevin Hart. <laughs> I know it's the, the chat is covering it. He looks like Jesus. And his name is Jevin Hart. Um, I guess Hart meaning art, maybe, is the joke here. And then Jevin, because he's Jesus Kevin. I don't, I don't fucking know. I think they're just trying to put art in the name and they didn't know how. And they were like, Jevin Hart, and he looks like Jesus. Let's go. But um, this, this here, I know it's blurry. It says art collector. He's an art collector. And he says, thou art welcome. What can I do for you? Uh, you talk to him and he says, I'm looking for something special. I need a piece of art that will make my followers go wild because he looks like Jesus. In exchange, I could have my followers help you out. And then you could hit accept, like it's like it's a quest or something. Yeah, you wanna accept it? You wanna accept? Followers help you out, my okay, followers. Is he actually Jesus? I think so. <gasps> there is another who only deals in gold bars. You should seek him out and see if he has anything for you. I heard he recently purchased a statue at the art asylum. Oh. So you know what this means, guys? This guy was step one. We were supposed to find him first. So we, I found step three first because, because I have friends in Polito who are like, there's a guy behind the church. And that's why we were so confused. That is why we were so confused. So we talked to this guy and he gives us step one, which is find him. And he's like, you want to help me out, kid? Then you would go to the art asylum and look at the plaque and find that that the dude's name and be like, oh, he's something, something Polito. And then you go to Polito and you find the guy. That's what the fuck you're supposed to do. And we did it in the opposite order because I found the guy or heard about the guy and went and found him in Polito first. It was Statue so stupid. The and then we go up north and we do the whole thing. There was some scuff with the gold bars. The guy wasn't accepting gold bars from us, but we talked to the guy in Polito after talking to Jevin Hart, and he now is asking for, he's like, I want five gold bars. And we were like, oh shit. So we go down to the house. I let Marty in, we grab gold, we go back to him and there was scuff. He wouldn't accept the gold bars. It did get hot fixed. So the whole server went down for a second and then he accepted them after that. But we were going crazy trying to figure out and we were like, do we have to make a grime box out of cardboard and then give it to him in the box? <laughs> like We were overcooking. Turns out that was just scuff. So if you watch Marty's VOD, there's a lot of us just like running around for like an hour, like not knowing what to do with the gold. So we found that you can sell the gold to him. He'll, he'll give you money for it. We didn't actually sell it, but he did say he'd give you like 50K for some gold. We don't know how much yet. It sounded like five gold bars but he wouldn't take the five from marty so i think it might be more i don't know but yeah so so the guy up north is just a gold seller you can sell him gold bars and he'll give you money that is what that npc is and then after we talked to him we came back we were trying to figure out what to do because we were like what about the art stuff though because we thought it was an art heist and we we're like it's gotta be but then it turned out it wasn't and we're like oh it's just gold selling we are confused but we say okay maybe that's it we come back and we talk to jevin again and when we talk to him, he unlocks the heist for us. So now we have it on our tablet. So that's, um, that's, that's what was like kind of missing there. So we, he talked to him again. He said, I'll get my followers to update your HQ. Now go get something more valuable. What that's the fuck? how this was all done. From V987. So this is his like, his little like address. So it, I guess this means, cause we got this, um, as well, when we were getting emails from our monkey guy, he was be, it would be like from Pony, like the old tag that the other guy had. So that means that when we talk to them and they have a crypto address, whatever, it's like some guy who will send us crypto to use for heists and some guy who will do um, uh, some sort of heist progression quest, right? Yeah, I think it's a Vito reference. I actually thought of it yesterday, but I was like, no, no, there's no way. And then it did turn out that it was a VTuber thing. <laughs> So the V987, when we're trying to figure out the number, it's actually referring to Vito, the, the streamer, Vito987, who runs uh, Neuro, an AI, a fully, fully AI run VTuber. So that's, <laughs> that's what that was. I was like, no way it's a VTuber reference. And then I, the VTuber, am driving around with them and I don't tell them about it. It was, <laughs> I should have said it. Um, but yeah, so he sent us like, like I want to say like 300 bucks or it. something. What? And then unlocked the it. thing. So you could see it here. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I got it. No, no, open your HQ. Okay. We, we, I'm laughing because we we like ran around so overcooked and then all we had to do was just talk to him again and look, the art asylum. Yeah. And this is what's really cool. It says nighttime only. That's what we did yesterday. Nighttime only. And then we go home, the end.